Yo, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Zen Lounge. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Cosmos ecosystem. I'm going to be talking about Adam. I'm going to be talking about the deep, deep connections that this ecosystem has with some of the biggest players in the world. European Central Bank, the largest bank in Japan. They're all using a protocol that the Cosmos developers developed. It's called IBC protocol. And I believe this protocol is going to revolutionize the blockchain universe. Crypto Man Ran, he's one of the largest crypto influencers around. He has 700,000 followers on Twitter alone. He's featured on CNBC. And today he did a Twitter space. I highly recommend watching this Twitter space. It's an hour long. You have some of the best developers, some of the best thought leaders of the Cosmos ecosystem explaining the whole thesis, the philosophy, the utility, the technology of Cosmos. And this is a great first step to learn about this ecosystem. He also mentions in this video in this space that this is only the first conversation he wants to cover this ecosystem much much more if you know cosmos you understand that we have the technology the biggest it, the technology works we need more publicity we need more people talking about it not that many people talk about cosmos ecosystem now with people like him talking about it this could give us a publicity to help us you know uh, ignite a lot more popularity in this amazing technology so first thing I'm going to show you before we get into the deep connections is Cosmos Map of Zones. So you go to mapofzones.com and you see all the different projects that are already connected via IBC, the interconnected web of blockchains. And you can start learning and exploring here. It'll show you the top projects and you could explore, like visit their website, read their white papers, watch videos about it to learn more about each project. Later on in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the benefits, like getting airdrops and more, like how what to, what to know. But first, I want to go down some of the deep connections. I was just going down a big rabbit hole. So IBC was developed by Cosmos. It's an open source protocol. And uh, IBC is being utilized by R3. It's being used, utilized by the biggest bank in Japan for cross-chain interoperability. And actually, there was just a demo let me pull it up here. There was just a demo that happened. Demo of cross-chain digital security settlement with stablecoin using IBC and LCP, April 26, with R3, Progmat, largest bank of Japan, data chain. Data chain has been working towards commercialization of cross-chain settlement using digital securities and stablecoins since the partnership with Mitsubishi Bank which was announced in September 2022. We are thrilled to announce that we have successfully completed the first step towards commercialization, which is the technical verification phase. In this article, they're going to discuss the background and details and the technicals of this whole system. They even show the open source GitHubs. Basically, uh, Mitsubishi Bank has already exceeded 40 million yen in assets under management on this platform, and they use and trust IBC. Progmat uh, is very, very huge. I'll show you some of the connections and they keep hyping up IBC. So to make this happen, Progmat is using IBC as a communication protocol between blockchains. This is a huge step for IBC ecosystem as well because it means stablecoins and real world assets in Japan will come to the interchain via IBC. R3 Corda is also involved. R3 Corda also involved, but why IBC? Why data chain? So why did Progmat choose? IBC is a communication protocol between blockchains. In 2022, Progmat was looking for a solution that met their following criteria. Trust minimized. Able to handle various use cases, including security settlements and NFT settlement. Does not require building a new network. Minimizes construction and management costs and privacy issues. After careful consideration, they determined that IBC was a viable interoperability method for enterprise use cases that met the above requirements. This is a crucial step in connecting Progmat with the world of public blockchains. So you're talking about a platform that has 40 billion in yen. It's going to be able to connect to public blockchains and join the interchain. Data chain is one of the top contributors to IBC and has high expertise in this area. Having been awarded two grants from Interchain Foundation, this is why we partnered with Data Chain. And you can look at all the technicals. You can see how IUC protocol works with these big players like Corda and GoCorium. They show you all the details. They even have open source public GitHub. You could read more about this. I'll put this in the description below. But there's a lot here. 
So here's a quote from Mitsubishi Trust Bank, the largest bank in Japan at Progment. We believe that IBC and LCP are essential technologies to satisfy the messaging layer requirement for public blockchain interoperability. When handling real-world assets such as security tokens, stablecoins, and utility tokens across multiple chains, we aim to lead the trend of tokenizing real-world assets globally and collaborate within with the data chain to create initiatives that represent this movement, including the commercialization of cross-chain settlement for digital securities using stablecoins, which is planned for 2024. If you've been watching my videos, I've been saying there's lots of signs. 2024 is going to be extremely bullish. we got enterprises and banks joining these ecosystems. Best believe that it's going to blow things up. Also, R3 comp commented on it. R3, Chief Strategy Officer, commented on data chains, efficient and scalable cross-chain interoperability as it can act as an additional guide in our mission of enabling an open, trusted, and enduring digital economy. So let's read the final thoughts. Thanks to collaboration of Progmat, R3, securities companies, and others, we we're able to create this pioneering use case as data, as data chain. We we're over the moon to have been a part of this initiative. And we can't wait to spread the word to the blockchain communities worldwide. So just post it April 26th, guys. Make sure to stay tuned for future developments toward commercialization in 2024. It's going to be epic. So if you don't know, Progmat is connected to SBI. Progmat is connected to JPX. Japan's largest bank, MUFG, has been working for years to develop a security token platform, Progmat. And Progmat uses IBC. Also, the Osaka Digital Exchange is part of this. This is JPX, the owner of the Tokyo Stock Exchange and NTT Data. They're all part of this. So this is massive. Okay, so let's keep moving along. We read this quote. Yeah, so there are key requirements that were addressed by the solution. They wanted to avoid the requirement for third party for interoperability. IBC does everything on chain. There's no third party. That's a big point. And if you don't know, like Cosmos has been working with these huge players for years now. In 2021, Cosmos is working for real mass adoption. It's not a meme, but infrastructure that can handle billions of transactions. Tendermint team had a meeting with the European Central Bank to talk about the possibilities of building the digital euro on Cosmos. And they actually had a whole presentation with the Cosmos team. It's right here. Now put the whole presentation. This is May 2021. And this meeting between Tendermint and the European Central Bank happened on the 200th anniversary of uh, something relating Napoleon, the emperor of uh, the big, you know, Napoleon from Europe. But uh, they did a whole presentation. You know, IBC, the first token transfer, wasn't didn't happen until March 2021. So we're still very early to this technology. Um, they have a whole re they have the whole presentation and why IBC coins will be the best bet for the digital euro. I'll put this in the comment section below. Um, so um, also that's not the first time. So if you look up uh, in documents, so this is another reason got that got me super interested in Cosmos. Uh, if you look at uh, this European Central Bank, they talk about interoperability solutions. The first one they bring up is Cosmos. If we go all the way to the top. Where is this? Anyways, it's called uh, the use of DLT and post-trade processes. In this PDF, you could find them mentioning Cosmos as a interoperability solution. So the, the, the connections here go really deep and they're meeting with some of the biggest players and being tested by the largest banks. So, you know, this is what really caught my eye. And, you know, Adam did great last bull cycle. The token hit about, I think, 30 or 40 bucks, but there wasn't that much utility. There's so much utility now. There's something developed called replicated security and stakers of Adam are basically going to be providing an interchange service to... Uh, the ecosystem and help their stake is also going to help stake uh, these new chains that are building and benefiting from 
the Cosmos validator set. So soon when you're staking Atom, you're going to be earning multiple tokens as well. You're going to be earning uh, Atom. You're going to be earning STRD, which is liquid staking. You're going to be earning Neutron, possibly even USDC. So that adds way more utility to staking Atom. There's more benefits. So it's never been better to stake Atom. Uh, currently, Atom staking is about 20%. It's expected to go down. It's expected to go down, but you're earning 20% and earning other coins. You're earning other coins. And the more people that build on the Cosmos Hub as consumer chains, the more possibilities of getting paid in other uh, tokens, um, basically. Uh, what I'm trying to say is last bull cycle, Adam hit those numbers without any of this, especially liquid staking. Now you got liquid staking. Now you got earning multiple coins. And then you also have the narrative of so many more projects connecting the IBC, making Adam able to, you know, spread through this ecosystem even more. Man, we have a bullish case. But Adam is not the only one project. This is the most popular project because it's the first, but there's so many other projects that offer different utilities than Adam itself. So you really got to do your own homework. One last thing I want to talk about that I talk about all the time. We showcase all the different airdrops that are happening in my web community, on my Discord channel. There's airdrops all the time. It's hard to keep up. And this account says, what if I told you you can make 5 to 10K on airdrops by staking, providing liquidity, and voting on governance proposals on Cosmos? And that's very true. You could earn on top of that 20%. Usually there's a certain requirement of like, you know, staking these tokens will qualify you for airdrops within the ecosystem. There's a bunch of airdrops scheduled uh for this month and anyone that's been staking you know these different cosmos gems are going to qualify for airdrops on top of their staking rewards so there's a lot of abundant opportunities here if you want to learn more about this type of stuff definitely consider joining my website joining my discord page remember guys uh, these videos are for research purposes only i hope you guys enjoy the connections the deep connections that i shared with some of the biggest players in the world that are utilizing this technology they're planning big things for the year 2024 to enter this space with the plan for commercialization. And we are early. We got new influencers coming on board to talk about this great ecosystem. And make sure you watch this video to fully learn and grasp everything that I'm trying to communicate because there's so much. It's hard to share it all on a quick little video. But hopefully seeing some of this research, seeing some of this evidence will get you guys excited to do your own research and to see what you could find but definitely start with data chain and how they're using and connected to the hyperledger and they're using connected to corda and they're using ibc i think ibc is the future i've been saying that for a long time and next year when these big banks come out with their ibc protocols it's going to be known all right guys have an awesome day and peace